Greetings Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's episode was prompted by this, this oxygen that I'm wearing as a result of a recent medical issue. The oxygen generator, uh, what's called an oxygen concentrator, is designed to deliver pure oxygen to me at a certain flow rate. The flow rate is constant. It doesn't matter how much tubing is between the machine and me, I still get the same flow rate. In other words, the current is constant. Well, that got me to thinking, are there things in amateur radio where we hold things constant? For example, here's Ohm's Law. Okay, this right here is the voltage, sometimes called the potential. And uh, in mechanical terms, this would be called the electrical pressure. Now, I is the current. Okay. And in uh, electrical systems, we measure current in amps. In uh, mechanical systems like this oxygen a system we've got here, we measure this in liters per minute. That's liters per minute, okay, is the amount of flow. R is the resistance, okay. Sometimes it's called the load, okay. Now, the way uh, we can rewrite this several times to see what we're holding constant. Now we know, for example, let's look at things where the voltage is held constant. The voltage is held constant in our common power supplies. So if you take a power supply, it's got a switch here, okay, and you connect a voltmeter across this, okay, the voltage is held constant. So we take E equals I R. This is a constant. Okay. Now that means that if the current goes up, the resistance must come down. If the res resistance goes up, the current must come down. So the system works together to hold the voltage constant. And we see this in ham radio in uh, power supplies. In power supply, the voltage is held constant, okay? And so the resistance is the load of the radio, right? Okay, as the load varies, the power supply will vary the current in order to keep the load constant, okay? And there's a whole fun bunch of stuff that shows how that's done. Now, let's look at something. Are there things in ham radio where the current is a constant? Well, as it turns out, there are many, okay? Um, I'm going to take two here. One is an LED. Okay, so we have an LED. Um, and the LED is going to uh, emit light when current flows in it. LEDs have a sort of a constant voltage across them of about 3.7, 2.7, somewhere in there. It depends on the LED, okay? It doesn't matter uh, how much current you put through it, you get this kind of constant voltage, but uh, we're not interested in that. Uh, LEDs are current-driven devices. Okay, the more current, the brighter they are. It's not the more voltage. The voltage across them is constant. It's the more current, the brighter they are. Now, one of the problems with these things is that if you offer them 
a straight supply of voltage, they'll let infinite current go through. They'll be infinitely bright. Well, they can't do that. In reality, they will burn out. So what we do is we put in here a resistor. Now the resistor is called the current limiting resistor. And it makes sure that only a certain amount of current, the amount of current that we want to flow, flows through here. Uh, for a lot of uh, uh, LEDs that are used for indicators, this resistor is about one kilo ohm. Okay, and the current that goes through here is about 10 milliamps. Okay, and that gives a full brightness on that. Now, if you get commercial LED lamps, like the LED lamps that I've got here, uh, these LED lamps are much brighter and take much more current. But the same principle holds. They are driven by the amount of current. And so the supply has to adjust so that the current is constant. Now, if we look at that, let's just look at equals IR. And we come up with uh, E equals IR. So I must equal E over R. Okay, now in this case, the load, um, the actual dissipation in the LED is constant. So the E has to vary in order to give the constant current across that. Now there's another device that's constant current, and that's a solar panel. Solar panels, we tend to think of them as having voltage, but it's a little known fact. I have a 24 volt panel out here, and I have 12 volt batteries. So what happens is, when this is lit by sunlight, and the sunlight is particularly bright outside today because we've got snow all over the ground, um, these put out a constant current. This mine puts out about 7 amps in full sun. Okay, the amount of, as the sunlight varies, the current varies, not the voltage, the current varies to be directly proportional to the amount of sunlight on it. What happens here is this will be a constant 7 amps, and then I've got my 12 volt battery. Okay, and this goes over here, and when the controller, here's the controller, when the controller attaches the panel to the battery, the voltage across the battery immediately drops to 12 volts, but the same amount of current flows. Now, does that seem strange? Yes, it does seem strange if you're used to thinking in terms of constant voltage, which almost all of us hams are. We think of power supplies as having a constant voltage, but uh, a laboratory power supply you can set for a constant current. You have a dead short, but then you can very carefully adjust the amount of current that flows through that dead short. In this case, the whole system assumes 12 volts so that the seven amps keeps flowing. That goes into here. Now, when the charge controller, which is a pulse width controller, um, opens this right here, this immediately jumps back to open circuit voltage, which is actually closer to 30 volts, and uh, waits for the next time, the next opportunity to pour current into here. So yes, there are constant current uh, devices out there. Now, uh, when I put up a new light in our closet, I put in um, an LED fixture instead of a fluorescent fixture. And I noticed the ballast in there was actually a constant current power supply. And all of the LEDs in that whole device are tied together in series. So the same current flows through all of them. Now what the uh, 
constant current power supply does is it adjusts the voltage so that you get a constant current all the time. And now there's a control loop going on here because it's got to sense what's happening. And uh, so there's uh, what's called a control law that describes how it makes adjustments so that it has common current. Well, okay, we've got the E equals IR here. We've got the I equals E over R. Now, are there any constant resistance devices in uh, amateur radio? That would be the resistance would equal E over I. Is there a device that has a constant load and in which the ratio of the current and the voltage are always constant? Well, the simplest one that we can talk about is a simple resistor. A resistor, it's a passive device. And the device offers a constant resistance. If the voltage goes up, the current goes up. If the voltage goes down, the current goes down. Okay, the ratio of the current, uh, the voltage and the current is a constant in this resistor. Now, is there anything a little bit more complicated than that in amateur radio that gives you a constant load? And the answer is absolutely yes, the antenna. Okay, the antenna has a constant load. Now that may be complex. It may have um, some inductance or reactance, okay? But if you look at an antenna, okay, and it presents to the radio a constant resistance. So if we start with E equals IR, we get R equals E over I, okay. So if you change the voltage across the antenna, then the current will change instantly with it. They stay together. This has a constant load Usually we actually take the complex part, call that the impedance, okay? This has a constant load. So I've given you in this short little video, sort of my re-entry video. I've been laying awake at night thinking about this, that not only do we have constant voltage devices like power supplies, where we have, say, um, you know, 12 volts. We have constant current type devices in here, uh, like solar panels, and you can design a power supply so that it's not constant voltage, but constant current. And then we have constant resistance, which includes some of our components but also antennas. Okay, so there you have it. It's just kind of fun thinking about these things and about what can be done uh, with them and uh, things that we're used to, but things that we're maybe not a little bit used to that become more common as we constant current as we work with LEDs, LED bulbs like the bulbs that I've got here and so on. So, um, please be sure to check out decastler.com slash support for ways that you can uh, help financially uh, fund this channel. And um, I will try to provide a little bit of a video every day as we go through this third wave in the pandemic. And it is affecting so many people. Out here, when I was up at uh, St. Mary's Hospital in Grand Junction, they wouldn't let my wife in to visit. I mean, zero visitors. That was uh, sad, very sad for us, but it's because of the COVID uh, we're having a problem here in Colorado. Alrighty.
Until we next meet, 73.